Today we're going to be opening up the newest Pokemon card set, Sword and Shield Lost Origin. We're going to be chasing the amazing Altart Giratina and the Altart Aerodactyl. A lot of really, really cool trainer gallery cards on the inside of this box as well. We're going to find out, is Lost Origin worth it? Let's go ahead and crack open this box and let's find out. I will be giving away this Walmart exclusive mystery box that does contain three booster packs, one online code, and the additional chance at a randomly inserted vintage pack. Just comment down below, like this video, and let me know what your favorite card from Lost Origin is to be entered. Let's go ahead and let's crack open this booster box and let's see what we can get today. I did sell this box to community member Keaton for $69. I do periodically sell booster boxes at $69 to the community. If you guys want a shot at one of the $69 booster boxes, make sure you hop into the Discord channel. It's a really fun place to hang out. I don't bother you guys. I don't really tag anybody. It's just a good place for everybody to hang out. Let's go ahead and let's get into this Lost Origin box. Let's see what we can get. The pull rates for Lost Origin are pretty crazy. The alt art seem to be about one alt art in every six to 700 packs, which is absolutely crazy. So let's see what we can get here. Looks like we're starting it off with the Trainer Gallery Bosses Orders. This is one of the cards that I would actually consider buying multiple copies of at the six to $7 price, just because it has a really, really good chance of being a very sought after card. Years and years down the line, as this card gets reprinted, for the trading card game competitive scene. This is just a really, really good artwork for bosses orders. Starting it off with an absolute banger. We got the trainer gallery bosses orders. We're gonna put that back here in the most valuable pull of the night. Hopefully we can beat that. You normally get about eight to 12 hits per box. The newer sword and shield sets, the last four sword and shield sets that have included a trainer gallery. Sometimes you do get a little bit more than you would out of a regular box. I do break up the sword and shield era into three different categories. The first category has the first four sets, which is just the regular sets in my opinion. Then you have the alt art sets starting with battle styles, ending with fusion strike. And then you have the trainer gallery sets that started with brilliant stars and ended with lost origin. Let's see what else we can get out of this box. Got the basculin, Rhyperior, V-Star marker there, Fantina, a lot of really good looking cards. Lost origin did bring back the lost zone mechanic, which is a really, really fun way to play the game. Code card there for you guys. I do give away all the code cards in every single one of my videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with that notification bell on. That way you guys can pick yourself up a code card. The color blast on these lost zone cards is really, really cool in my opinion. This Cramorant card is actually really powerful. It has a free attack if you have three or more cards in the lost zone. It's seeing a lot of play in the competitive scene right now. Most of the lost zone decks that people are building do include a Cramorant for that free attack see what else we can get here looks like we have another trainer gallery card we have the spirit tomb this is another very very powerful card it does 60 damage for each spirit tomb in your discard pile only takes two energies to charge up and you can use it you can use the card Raihan to power it up seeing a lot of play right now our second trainer gallery card in our first few packs here Last time I checked, this card was only selling for right around two, three dollars. It's not a very expensive card, but man, does it look really, really good. And here's the code card for you guys. The best thing about these newer sets, this brand new set, is that the code cards are still pretty valuable. You can actually sell 36 code cards right now for between 13 and 15 dollars on eBay, which is a really, really good deal. Really helps to offset the price of a booster box. We've got the Chandelier and the Vile Plume. Kind of go through the cards a little bit slower here this is the first time i'm seeing a lot of these cards myself it is a very very large set so you are not guaranteed to see every single common and uncommon card in one box we got the stone journer with that really nice color blast and the monetric lost city another good playable card code card for you guys best of luck to whoever's redeeming those if you guys are getting anything really cool from those code cards let me know down in the comments see what else we can get here looks like we have a v-star coming up we got the reverse holographic fantina and we have the aerodactyl v-star the v-star cards from this set are really really expensive right now because people are trying to pick them up for the competitive scene more specifically the giratina v-star the zora arc and the gudra the aerodactyl v-star is sitting under bulk price it's less than a dollar for this v-star card unfortunately still a really really good looking card in my opinion and a lot of really good cards there. Good playable cards. With this new set, you do have to keep an eye on your bulk. 
because a lot of these common and uncommon cards will sell for quite a bit that could easily help pay for your booster box if you do sell them in play sets on tcg play or on ebay a lot of these cards like the lost vacuum are finding their way into every single deck so make sure you guys keep an eye out for those really really valuable bulk cards and we have another wow i was not expecting to get another v star right after that aerodactyl this is actually the hardest v star to pull uh, somebody opened up like 8,000 packs and they said that to pull this was like one out of every 2,000 packs sitting at about $30 right now for this Giratina V-Star very very playable card and this pays from basically half the box right here with this one card what an amazing hit right here for Keaton one of the most powerful cards to come out of this set that's why the price is so high Lost Vacuum another good playable card pull that out of your bulk if you are opening up Lost Origin right now Let's see what else we can get here. So far, we're doing pretty good. I think we have a really, really good chance at beating that $69 price for Keaton. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think we're going to beat that $69 price with this box? Seems like we're well on our way. We got a Haunter and Malamar and the code card for you guys. Let's see what else we can get. Pulling that Rainbow Rare Giratina V-Star. That's just so exciting. Those are so, so difficult to pull. We got the Volvo and the Landorus. Code card there for you guys. Best of luck to whoever is redeeming those. Let's see what else we can get. Normally, you don't get more than two V-Star cards per box. So hopefully, we still have an alt art sitting in here somewhere. That would be the best case scenario. Code card for you guys. Let's see what else we can get. So far, we've technically only got two ultra rare cards because the other hits have been out of the trainer gallery. That's what makes these sets so much fun. There's the Hesirian Gudra. This is one of the better V cards you can pull from this set. It's actually still sitting right around $3. A lot of people are playing this deck. It's basically a tank. It does a lot of damage reduction and it can heal itself with its ability once you make it into a Gudra V star. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for those as well. Another really good card. Really good Swim Freely card right here. You can attach a ton of water energy to your Swim Freely Pokemon like Dugong. Got the Kingdra there. This is such a good looking set. I'm having a lot of fun opening up this box so far. What have your guys' pull rates been like for Lost Origin? Has anybody gotten that crazy looking Giratina alt art? Let me know. All right, let's see what else we got. We got the Polyrath. Nothing too crazy out of this pack. Code card there for you guys. Let's see what else we can get here. Hopefully we can get alt art from this box for Keaton just for the value of it. There's been a lot of craziness happening with all of Colrus Experiment. Another good bolt card. Make sure you guys pull those out. Code card for you guys. There's been a lot of crazy stuff happening with the alt arts from this set. The Giratina started off at about $300. It dropped down to about $180. And then there was a really, really big buyout. It went back up to about $250. Uh, same thing happened with the Aerodactyl V. The Aerodactyl V alt art actually got down lower than $100, and then it spiked back up when people started buying it out. There's the Snorlax, another good-looking card from the Trainer Gallery. I really, really like that card. I think that might be my favorite card that we have seen so far. The Unfazed Fat Ability. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. It's actually a really, really good ability. And we have the Delphox V behind it. We got a double banger pack there. Value not super crazy. The Delphox is sitting right around a dollar, dollar fifty. Snorlax is right around two dollars. Mirage Gate is the best card from this pack probably because it is used in every single Lost Zone deck. It does allow you to accelerate energies. So far, we have three Trainer Gallery cards. We have two V Stars and we have two regular V cards. Let's see what else we can get from this box. This is turning out to be a really, really good one. Really, really hoping we see that Alt Art V. There's a Radiant Steelix. The normal pull rates for Radiants are right around one per box. So these aren't super, super valuable because they are so easy to get. But man, do these look absolutely amazing. That shiny Steelix, Radiant Steelix. Not a very powerful card, but man, does that look really, really good. These Radiant cards are going to be very, very desired down the line. A lot of people really like the shiny versions of Pokemon. I think the last time I checked this Radiant Steelix was sitting at like $2 at most. I know a lot of these Radiant cards are very, very low in value just because they are so easy to pull right now. And with the crazy amount of printing that Pokemon Company is doing for each set right now, there's just so many of them being dumped to the market. Let's see what else we can get here. We got the Snover and the Honchkrow Colrus experiment there, the toolbox, and a code card. Code cards are selling for like 50 cents or more 
per code, which is absolutely crazy. That's why opening up these new sets is so much fun. Really good looking bayonet with the Lost Zone Splash and the Barbarical. I really like that pattern. It's really cool in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of that color splash. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of uh, sports cards and how they do that color splash. But it does look really good on these cards as well. Let's see what else we can get here. Got the Clefairy. This moon watching party is absolutely insane. You can attach a psychic energy for each Clefairy that you have in play. You can put four Clefairy in play, so you can put four different energies per Clefairy. You can retreat it, get a whole bunch of them in play at once. It's an absolutely crazy deck. If you pair it with like a Mewtwo V-Star, which you just discard energy, or even a Shadow Rider Calyrex, which does damage per energy in play, it's absolutely crazy. There we go, we got a full art. Colrus's Experiment. This has been an absolutely crazy box. It feels like this is our second full art trainer card because we did get this really cool boss's orders as well. But that is a trainer gallery card. And this is a regular full art. This is actually a close to a $20 card if I remember correctly. It is being played in just about every single new deck that features the Lost Zone. It allows you to draw five cards. You keep three of them and then you put the other two into the Lost Zone. Most of the abilities for the Lost Zone you have to have 10 cards in the lost zone so this does help you do that i'm gonna go ahead and put this back here our giratina v star is definitely going back in our most valuable pull of the box slot i think we're getting pretty close to that 69 dollars price here for keaton if we haven't already passed it yet this isn't turned out to be a really really good box i still think we have a alt art v in here i know i keep saying that but we've only pulled two regular v's nor normally you get around four per box sometimes a little bit more so there's a really, really good shot. Another Colorus's Experiment and the code card for you guys. Make sure you guys are pulling out those good trainers like Mirage Gate, Colorus's Experiment, Lost Vacuum. All of those do hold considerable value just because they are so powerful. Same with this Cramorant card here. Another really, really good card. Code card for you guys. Got about a third of this box left. Let's see what else we have in the back part of this box. It seems like we've gotten so many hits already. I can't imagine what we still have on the inside of here. Looks like we have a gold card to go with it. That's our second secret rare card. We got the Collapse Stadium gold card. This is turning into an absolutely crazy box for $69. Congratulations to Keaton on this amazing box so far. Cannot believe all these amazing, amazing hits we're getting. This isn't like a crazy valuable card or anything, even though it is extremely rare. It's about a $7 or $8 card, but it's just absolutely crazy. It's our second secret rare card we got one rainbow and one gold card from the same box that hardly ever happens absolutely crazy this has been a, such a good box i kind of wish i would have opened this box for myself let's see what else we can get though if we have another crazy hit in here i wouldn't be surprised this has been an absolutely amazing box so far let's see what else we can get all right we got another radiant card normally you only get one radiant per box I don't think I've ever had a box where I've pulled two Radiant cards from the same box. That's absolutely crazy. Got another Radiant card here. We got the Radiant Steelix and the Radiant Sneasler. So we got two Radiant cards from this box. We got two Secret Rares from this box. Absolutely crazy so far. Here's that crazy powerful Dugong I was talking about with the Swim Freely attack. You can attach all the energy you want to this and the flow return can hit up to like 280, 320 damage to hit those magic numbers to knock out V-Stars and V-Maxes fairly easily with that ability. All right, let's see what else we have left in here. We still have quite a few packs left. We've pulled some absolutely crazy hits out of this box so far. Mirage Gate, another good bolt card there. This has been a fantastic box. One of the best boxes I've ever seen so far. Luminion, Galiscohor. And the code card for you guys. The best part of that pack was the code card. Let's see what else we got. Really, really pulling for an alt art here. The Galarian Perserker would be really, really cool. I mean, even the Rotom alt art is really, really cool in my opinion. I mean, they're all just such good cards. Cresselia, nothing too crazy there. And the code card for you guys. All right, we got, looks like we got about six or seven packs left here. We've only got two regular V cards, so I'm hoping... That we have some more v cards here there we go another trainer gallery card we have the trainer gallery charizard sitting right around seven to eight dollars for that one this has been an amazing 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 box this is by far one of the best boxes i've ever seen open and let's grab that code card for you guys best of luck to whoever's redeeming those this is crazy guys absolutely crazy is that our fifth or sixth trainer gallery card got the apa bomb 
and the med cargo. Of course, we had to have it slow down a little bit. All right, we got about five packs left. I still think we have a couple V cards left inside of this box. Let's find out. We got the Comfy, good powerful card there. Make sure you guys pull those out of your bulk. Code card for you guys. Those Comfies go into just about every single Lost Zone deck. It does allow you to draw two cards, place one into your hand, and place the other one into the Lost Zone. Looks like we may have another hit here. Saw something shiny. There we go. We got the Magna Zone V. The Magna Zone V Star deck is not very powerful. Those cards are actually sitting at like 50 cents or so. Actually under bulk price, a lot of bulk buyers will buy your V cards for $1 a piece. So some of those cards are actually sitting lower than that on TCG Player, for instance. Let's see what else we can get. And there's another V card. I, I figured we had a couple of V cards left inside this box. I did not want to see those type of V cards, though. We got two packs left. Let's see what we can get. Holding out hope here. This has been an absolutely crazy box, even without an alt art from it. Let's see what else we can get. Clefairy and the Ore Beetle code card for you guys all right we got our last pack magic i'm pulling for you keaton let's get that alt art giratina right now from this box let's see what we got we got the pseudo wudo and the clefable nothing too crazy there code card for you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this set do you guys think that lost origin is worth it i do believe this box was definitely worth that 69 dollar price tag we paid the market price right now is sitting at about 95 to 100 dollars i don't think we quite got there from this box, even with all the bulk, the codes, and the crazy amount of hits that we had. Is it worth it? Let me know.